Hi everyone. We're here at the Glass Academy checking out some cool things made from the annealer. We've got owner Chris Nordeen here. What's happening everybody? Nice to see ya. I'm gonna pull down my mask so I can talk. There's nobody around except for Michelle and I and that's totally cool. We're doing our social distancing, but we're here at the Glass Academy in Dearborn, Michigan, and we are doing our uh, 73rd annealer reveal, which means we're going to be uh, showing you what we did Friday night on our live feed. We do live feeds every Tuesday night and Friday night from 6 to 8, and we're having a ball doing them. We're doing custom orders. You can order them from us, and you can buy the pieces that we do during our show. So now, the reason that we have this annealing oven uh, and the reason that we uh, are uh, revealing it to you is that when we do the live show, you can't see the true colors of the glass when the glass is above about 650 degrees. We work the glass at about 2,000 degrees gathering out of the tank and the colors are very muted and not that nice looking. So we like to show people the true colors when they come out of the oven the next day and we had a prolonged annealing cycle. So this is two days after Friday night's live feed. But here we go, we're gonna check it out and I'm gonna show you our custom orders and I'm gonna show you the ones that are available online uh, for purchase at glassacademy.com. So here we go. You might hear the door creaking. To Toledo Museum of Art when they expanded their studio. These annealers came for them, so I love the numbers on them. A number one. Yeah, exactly, but we put that number one on there ourselves. But here we go, let's check it out. We started out the show with Joey doing a beautiful warm up mug. Every show we do a warm up mug, and on Friday, Joe, or warm up. Uh, something or other, anything of our choice, but Friday nights are happy hour and we do all drinkware on Friday nights, custom drinkware and pieces that are available. Shot glasses, mugs, pilsners, snifters, Rona rocks glasses, all this really cool stuff. We specialize Venetian stemware, all kinds of cool stuff, but it's all Friday nights are happy hour drinkware. Tuesday nights we do all kinds of other stuff, so you're going to see we got a lot of drinkware in here. But Joey's first piece, which is in the back because it went in first, this particular piece turned out unbelievable. Look at the color pattern on there that Joey's got going on. This is our Glass Academy stamp. It's on every piece we make. And this piece that Joey made came with a custom straw. This was the second half of the blown handle that I'm gonna cut the ends off and turn into a straw and that comes with the piece, which is very rare because normally we sell these straws for 25 bucks, but this one came free with the glass and we priced this at $138. You can go back and look at the 73rd show and you can watch this piece being made by Joey Walker. It's unbelievable. It's and a, a little clarity, the 73rd show, these shows are on Facebook. Yeah, it's Facebook Live, and we do them live, so you can watch them on Facebook, and eventually we're going to be doing them live on YouTube as well, too. But this was the first piece. I'm going to put this piece over here. It's got a gorgeous iridescent uh, handle, and then it's got a beautiful cross-hatching, almost basket weave uh, color pattern on the body of the piece with an emerald green going down into a clear foot and a clear crystal thumb bit. Boom, that's number one. One. So I was, I did it earlier. I just held up the clipboard because there are people on the clipboard that are some of the custom orders. So some of the items you're taking out are not for sale, correct? Yeah, yeah, you got it. I'm just checking my mic to make sure this is working, and it is beautiful. We've got mic issues and we're always working on them. But uh, the second piece that we did Friday night was a piece I made. It was a custom order for a good friend of mine, Jim, who's a good friend and a good client. And he ordered a Michigan State Spartans mug, and it was his birthday. And those guys watched it. And it was interesting because right in the, in the beginning of making his piece, the first piece didn't work out. It was blown too thin and it fell off the blowpipe. Everybody was blown away. And I gathered up another gather and I made it right after the first one fell. And it turned out unbelievable. So let's get this puppy out. Now remember, if you're what are the colors on Michigan if State? If you're familiar with Michigan ah. State, Michigan State is green and white. University of Michigan is maize and blue. So blue and gold, but this is, check it out, we got the Spartan oh, yeah. going on the back of the handle. We've got a gorgeous 
white fade with a white foot and a white lip wrap. There's the Glass Academy stamp I was telling you about. And this piece was custom and it turned out amazing. And I can tell you right now it's about 20 ounces and it's super comfortable in your hand. I've made thousands uh, of mugs. I like how it's clear here because Jim's a beer drinker so he'll be able to see if he's drinking like a lager or uh, I don't know, like a red beer. Yeah, that's exactly what we did when we designed the piece. I asked him, hey, do you like looking at the color of your beer? You might put a porter, you might put a stout, you might put something light in there. You want a little transparency and we gave him some. Check this out too, instead of just holding it this way, you can also put your hand in this way and put your finger right in here. And now that's even more comfortable. That's what I'm telling you about. So Jim, you got a beaut. Happy birthday again, buddy. All right, this one's going over here. Boom, number two. All right, number three was a artist choice. And Jacob, my son, who is our manager of the Glass Academy, he made this piece. And it was his choice, what he wanted to make. He picked the colors out and he made it. And this piece was available too. And this one turned out amazing. Jake's skills are really coming together. Look at this piece. Look at the feathering action going on. He's got a blue and gray, a gorgeous color combo. He's got the Glass Academy stamp on there. He's got this really unique dragon back going on in the back that blends right into the thumb bit, which is super comfortable. But these colors are all just matching together. We've got this beautiful iridescent foot, lip wrap, and handle with a crystal dragon back. Look at that in Michelle's hand. Looking good. So when you drink from the inside, that's the beauty you see. Yeah, and this is probably about 21 ounces, 22 ounces. So when you bust into a double deuce of something tasty, you're going to be able to put it in there and have a little bit left over when you drink it down about halfway. I but, also like the solid foot. You can put these in the freezer and it will get nice and cold. And because the foot is solid, it will hold that coolness and keep your beer tasty all the way to the very bottom. Yeah, and the other thing you want to make sure, we tell everybody this, you can't put hot liquids in our drinking glasses. We don't make coffee cups. Ceramicists make coffee cups. I got a huge, I've got probably 50 cups that are made out of ceramics for coffee. But you don't put hot coffee inside blown glass because borosilicate glass can't handle the heat of, of boiling liquid being poured into it. Uh, borosilicate could, but soda lime glass can't. And we blow soda lime glass, so it's very uh, uh, sensitive to heat. All right, this one's going over here in the pile for boom number three. Looking great, looking super tasty. Now, this is a custom order. A customer ordered, and she's ordered quite a few snifters. Another snifter, and her requirements were she wanted it to be crystal and red. And she wanted it to be very, very delicate, but very, very ceremonial. She uses her glasses all the time. And this piece turned out beautiful. And I want to mention, beautiful. crystal is clear glass. There is no lead in our glass. It's not lead crystal, it's just clear. But take a look at this thing. It's got a really beautiful crystal clear top so you can see the wine she's drinking or whatever it is. It's got a beautiful uh, spiraling pattern in it. Red yeah. pattern with the red lip wrap, it's which like looks gorgeous. Yeah, and then look at the little berries. I asked her, I said, do you want to have maybe berries or something on there? So we've got this iridescent, gorgeous looking stem that was all out of one bit. And then I put those three berries on there with a red foot. So this piece turned out unbelievable. And I can make one of a kind snifters, tulips and wine glasses, but I could do a set of eight, whatever you guys want. I love making stemware. I love making drinking vessels. And these pieces are gorgeous. So Sharon, you got another beautiful piece for your collection. I'll be signing the bottom of this with my name, dating it 2020, along with the Glass Academy stamp. So here we go to that one. Now let's take a peek at some of these other things that are in here. We had a couple warmer uppers. So sometimes during the day we share the annealer with other products that we need made in the studio. These are just pretty much pieces you do to get warmed up on the pipe, get your hands limbered up a little bit. It's an optical twist cup. It's a challenge. Most likely Jake or Joey made these. These guys are apprentice glass blowers and they're always trying to become better glass blowers by tightening up their optically twisting skills. So that's what these are. They're really pretty. Great tumblers to put inside your cupboard and just drink anything out of, you know, miscellaneous kitchen tumblers. So these guys turned out really nice. We'll put these over here. 
And then it looks like earlier on in the day, Jake and Joey were doing some production. So check these out. Yeah. These are our Rona shot glasses. Which we had some orders for these. Rona shot glasses are the little stylized Corona, glass Corona that we developed and made and kind of came up with stuck in the side of a shot glass. So they're Rona shot glasses. We also do Rona rocks glasses, Rona highball glasses. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of really cool Rona products on the glassacademy.com that you can get if you go there and check them out. And I'll tell you what, we hate the coronavirus as much as everybody and we can't wait for this to be done for but uh, and done with. But you know, we have uh, to keep our business afloat. We did come up with a line of uh, Corona things. One of them is a coronavirus itself out of glass. Then we do a Corona uh, signature Christmas ornament. And we also have our Rona drinking line. And they're all because at the Glass Academy. Sometimes you com. just need to have a shot of something to get through this season. Exactly. So these guys turned out great. They're going to be going into the gallery. Here's something, a couple other products that they did. One of the products is the pickle ornament, which we sell a ton of these cool pickle ornaments, you guys. There's a big, long German uh, tradition with those that is you hide the, the pickle on the ornament and your child or your children look for it in the morning. And then also we have the Michigan icicle, which is a signature uh, piece yeah, that we've Chris, been doing for years. Chris developed the Michigan icicle. This one here is clear and white. But we also do a recycled blue version that makes it look like icy water. It's really cool. Yeah, and I don't think there's any recycled ones in there, but that's about it, guys. So, hey, make sure that you check out our shows every Tuesday and Friday night from 6 to 8. Tuesday is all kinds of crazy things going on. Those penguins you saw in the beginning of the show, we do custom penguins. We could have one bowling, doing whatever you want. And it, where can they find these pieces of glass for sale? They're for sale at the Glass Academy website, which is glassacademy.com, you guys. And you go to uh, that website and you're going to see all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, Michelle and I appreciate any business we get from you guys and we also appreciate you guys tuning into our shows because our shows are all about education. We want to teach you guys about the glass and if you want to see something really amazing, check it out. Tuesdays and Friday nights, 6 to 8. All see right. you guys later. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye-bye.